Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Whitney and I am so freaking excited because today we're going to be playing with all kinds of stuff from, I got a couple things from Ulta, a few things from Sephora, but we are going to be playing with a bunch of holiday releases and I'm going to be letting you guys know what I think is worth the money or what I think you guys can just pass on for this year. So just a reminder, these are just my opinions. So if there is something in here that you've purchased and fell in love with, keep loving it. This is just my opinion, what I feel like was worth me purchasing. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you enjoy this type of video and please subscribe before you leave. It is free and it's just the nice thing to do and you get to hang out with me and leave me a comment below and let me know what you are picking up from these holiday collections and we will jump in. Okay, I am so excited. I haven't done a video like this, um, so I'm really excited to dive into everything. I went to Sephora yesterday and got a bunch of stuff. I also have two things from Ulta in here, and then I have this little tart set that we will jump into, but... I didn't throw that in the bag because I have had this for about a week so I have been playing with it so I am super excited to dive into that so I'm going to show you guys all of the stuff that I got first and then we will jump into putting it all to the test and seeing which items from this year's holiday releases are worth it and there are a lot of of other holiday items and there's still stuff coming out so if you want to see like another version of this or even a drugstore version because elf just released a bunch of new holiday stuff let me know because starting next week i'll be able to order stuff again because i'll be moved into my new house so we can put in a big order for some drugstore stuff and do a video on that as well so let's get started. I will go ahead and start out with these since I don't have them included in this stuff. So this is the one of the Tarte Holiday things for this year. I know they have a palette set that has like three different eyeshadow palettes in it. And they have some like lip masks from um, Awake. I think that's their sister brand. And they have a couple other things. They have a three set of the Maracuja lip tints, I think they were. And then they had these. So this is a trio of bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. So we have this little gold one here. When you open it up, they all have a mirror, which is nice. I don't think it has... No, it didn't come with a protector over it, just in case anybody wants to know that. I don't think it's that big of a deal. And then this one comes with a, I don't know if this is supposed to be a bronzer or like a bronzy blush, but I think it would work either way. I think for me, I would be able to use it as a bronzer, possibly, but this highlight is great and this blush is amazing. I've been using them like crazy, this one specifically. So this right here, there we go. So starting from top to the bottom, it is the Let It Glow Highlighter, the I'm Smitten Blush, and the Getting Toasty. We're going to go ahead and call that a blush as well because now that I'm looking at it, it would be probably a little bit too orange for my skin tone personally or for my liking personally, but if you like more of a like orangey um, bronzer, it would probably work as a bronzer as well. It has a bit of shimmer in it, but I think that would be a really pretty like orangey blush. So that is the first one. And then we have like the rose gold set. That comes with the highlighter and two blushes as well as the mirror at the top these are really really pretty so we have frosted frappe oh that is stunning 
and then we have sweet cheeks and then we have sugar and spice so that is what they look like swatched on the fingers so that is look at that highlighter oh my god that is so freaking pretty that's gonna be a really good highlighter so that is what the second one looks like and then we have the pink one and it has three blushes this one is a nice shimmery sparkly blush i have been loving putting this on top of the i'm smitten oh my god it is the most beautiful combination i've ever seen so we will go ahead and swatch those we have yours truly into you and then playtime yours truly is literally it has been like my go-to favorite blush lately and oh my god i love a shimmery blush because i feel like it just like blends so good with a highlighter so yes i am a huge fan i really honestly highly recommend the um tarte like blush and highlighter trios i know that they came out with one last year i did not get that and i regret not getting it because these are so good and let me pull up the prices so this trio was $35 which I think is an amazing price and right now at Ulta it has 4.4 out of 5 stars and it it only has 5 reviews but four of the reviews are a four star and one is a two star so i would say that i'm not the only one loving these um i do highly recommend i think these are a win and very good value okay i did only get two items from alta so i'm gonna go ahead and pull those out i got the Too faced enchanted forest limited edition makeup collection it has a really cute bunny on the front of it. The packaging is stunning, which is not shocking to me because I am green. Why? There we go. <laughs> okay, which is not shocking to me because Too Faced does beautiful packaging. The product is not always perfect, but the packaging is always on point. So this smells like i was trying to figure out what it smells like because i opened it yesterday i haven't touched it yet but i opened it yesterday just to like check it and everything and the smell was insane and i just found it on the back it smells like pecan pie and then it has an exclusive enchanted pink shade of the lip injection lip gloss which is beautiful but if you have not tried the lip injection lip glosses they are very intense so just keep that in mind and then it has a travel size better than sex mascara and it has snowflakes on it so we'll go ahead and open that up this packaging is oh my goodness honestly it is it is so beautiful so when you open it up this is what the packaging looks like and this is like a snow globe-esque type of packaging truly some of the most beautiful packaging that i have seen Too Faced come out with it is very glittery very very christmas um they also had two exclusive kits at sephora i did not grab any of those because i just didn't feel like i needed this many of the holiday kits but if you guys want to see those let me know and i will get them oh my god the smell if you just go in and smell this like oh my god it smells so good so this is what the inside of it looks like it has the highlighter two blushes and a bronzer and then it has 20 eyeshadows over here which are literally beautiful so freaking pretty it is very neutral i'm gonna swatch just a couple of them let's do frosty i have not touched these yet so i'm excited let's do frosty let's do cinnamon spice and christmas sweater 
and then jingleberry so two mattes two shimmer so there are the shadows they felt really nice this is so pretty this is too um the mattes felt really nice too they weren't anything horrible or spectacular they were just mattes oh my god this packaging is so good so then we will swatch the highlighters and the blushes and the bronzer so this is lit up highlighter holy crap that is pretty and then we have nice list and pink christmas blushes The blushes could have been, I don't know, they're blushes, so I'm sure they'll be fine. And then we have Rudolph Bronzer. Um, okay, I had to really layer this, which I don't necessarily mind. That is a very pretty color, though, but... If you are somebody who is even a pinch darker than I am, that how or that bronzer is not going to work for you at all. And if we're being honest, neither will this blush. This one might be okay for people a little bit darker than me, but not much. And same with this highlighter. So that's why I don't personally like I get the kits because they're holiday try somehow to make them more inclusive because there's just no way <sighs> there's just no way you're going to be able to use half this palette I don't that's just my little rant that's just one thing I don't like about these holiday kits personally. with this kit you also get the lip injection lip gloss which these this is a full size I believe and it's like a little holiday exclusive one it also smells incredibly good and then you got a Too Faced better than sex mascara this is one of my favorite mascaras and it has the little holiday snowflakes on it so that is a very cute set but like I said I would prefer if you either take the face products out completely or if you chose to come out with this palette with all the same eyeshadows and then make it inclusive where you put different shades of blushes and bronzer bronzers that would match different skin tones so that is just my opinion on that matter and I feel like this is just not just a problem with Too Faced this is a problem with holiday kits all around this was $44 so I do think this is a really great price you get the blushes the bronzer the highlight and then 20 shadows a lip gloss and a mascara so like that has all your I am turning green again it is my shirt <laughs> it keeps throwing things off okay and then I have never tried anything from them before that I remember so I'm so freaking excited about this and this was $39. So I got the Buxom, the Ultimate Lit Party set. And oh my god, this packaging is so sparkly. So I got this at Ulta as well. And then it comes with six of the lip plumping glosses. Or the mini full on plumping lip polish. And then it comes with two of the mini lip crayons. So it has one, two, three new lip gloss colors. And then three of the original colors. And then they're just in mini packaging. So I'm super excited about this. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. We're going to use this today. Look at this gloss. Holiday season in makeup is literally my 
favorite season i'm sorry that was so loud my favorite season look at this freaking lip gloss holy crap oh my god it's so pretty okay so we might have to use that today and then these lip crowns they're like big old lip crowns too so that's cool so I feel like you get a decent amount of product and that is the color of them I feel like this one here will be so pretty underneath this so we might have to test that out today and then we will get out my Sephora receipts I had to get this I know that it's not makeup but I'm literally obsessed and my hair needed it so bad so I got which was $36 the Brio Geo which if you guys know me you know that like this is all I use on my hair it has literally changed my hair and since my hair messed up last week and then getting it fixed this week and like all the product and stuff being on my hair and my hair needs a really good thick mask so this comes with the honey moisture deep conditioning mask which i need the don't despair repair repair conditioning mask which i love and the avocado kiwi mega moisture mask which i already have a big one of and i love i think that everybody needs this because brio geo if you have not used them like their hair care will literally change your hair it has done amazing things for my hair and I highly recommend and then we have I have been needing some good lip stuff so I got the fresh hydrating lip kit and it has a sugar rose lip tint with SPF 15 it has a sugar coconut hydrating lip balm and it has a sugar dream lip treatment advanced therapy i need all of this because my lips my lips are struggling right now and this was 29 dollars. i know fresh is so expensive but their products are really good so i don't mind but i did not realize how teeny tiny these are holy crap i don't know if these are these have to be minis i couldn't imagine these not being minis oh it has a decent amount of product in it um it's lip products so i don't feel like i go through that as much so we have that which is the lip tint and then we have the sugar coconut hydrating lip balm in this container here which we will go ahead and put some of that on while we're doing this and get our lips ready so I think I feel like this is a decent amount of product okay mm, this smells amazing oh and these twist which is pretty cool so it locks and then we have the last thing, which is the Sugar Dream Lip Treatment Advanced Therapy, which looks like this. Also smells incredibly good. So, <laughs> I don't want to say I don't recommend this, but I don't think it's worth $30. I mean, it's fine. It's lip products. I needed them, so I don't mind, but I feel like... I feel like you could get something like maybe drugstore that is equivalent to this for like half the price. Um, we'll have to see and look into that. But so far, I don't think the fresh kits are worth it. They're just not worth the price. They're so expensive. $30, $29 for like these little tiny products. I don't think that's worth it. Then we have the Fenty oh 
little fly stunner mini eye and lip set this was $24 and it comes with the mini um stunna lip paint which is the red for holiday and then it comes with the black fly liner this is their liquid liner i am obsessed on every level with the fenty lip paint formula it is so freaking good it is so beautiful um i have the pink one i think it's called unlocked and it is literally amazing so i do highly recommend these and for 24 dollars for a lipstick which will last forever because they are so pigmented you need like the littlest amount and for the eyeliner i do think that this was definitely worth the price i haven't tried the eyeliner out yet so we are going to test that today and then i got i had to get this i absolutely had to i had to i had to because if you guys know me like i am very close to being i've hit pan on quite a few of my shades from last year so i did get i didn't get the big one but i did get the hourglass ambient lighting sculpture mini set and it came with a highlighter a bronzer a blush and then one of their like finishing powder shades and it is so pretty so this is what it looks like and <laughs> I don't even want to say the price out loud because it's so expensive. It was $58 but hear me out. If you have not tried anything from Hourglass, the quality of their face products are the best ones I have ever tried in my entire life. In my entire life. So. This is what they look like. We have the blush, the bronzer, this is the highlighter, and this is the ambient lighting finishing powder. And we go ahead and give these a swat. Like in my last year's palette, the highlighter wasn't like crazy intense. It was more of a subtle highlight. But this year's palette, and this one at least, the highlight is beautiful. So this is what it looks like. We have the blush right here is like the finishing powder so you're not really going to be able to see it. There's a little bit of a sheen. And then we have the highlighter and the bronzer. I'm so excited. We're going to use this whole kit today because I need to show everybody how stunning Hourglass's products really are. Because I would pay so much more than that. Plus it says 5% of all the proceeds from the purchase of the ambient edit will support the non-human rights project so that is amazing so when you're purchasing this you're also donating to charity so that is fantastic and then these aren't holiday i don't believe but they reminded me of holiday and they're brand new so i got the new fenty they had released minis of the full frontal mascara and this is ivy league and this is miss merlot and so this is like a maroon and a green and they just reminded me of christmas so i bought them <laughs> so that is all those were 13 dollars a piece you know what I thought it said that they were $13 a piece on the thing, but this says $14, so either way, $14 a piece, and we will be testing those out today. So I am going to go throw on some eyebrows. This is going to be a super long video. I am so sorry ahead of time, but I really want to jump into all of these things, so I'm going to throw on some eyebrows and do one of my eyes, and then we will be right back to do the other eye and start talking about all the products. Okay. I finished this eye so we're gonna go ahead and do this eye now we are using the Too Faced palette and I'm gonna start by going in with Mrs. Claus which is this one right up here I cannot get over the smell of this palette it smells so good and for the sake of me not using my handheld mirror and holding it this close to my face I'm going to use this little Huda Beauty palette mirror and then I'm going in with the Morphe 
M431. And we're just going to start sketching out that shape. And I already primed my eyes as usual with the P. Louise blank canvas. I was pleasantly surprised. I haven't bought anything from Too Faced. Well, I was going to say in quite a while, but that's a lie because I bought their foundation. Um, their new matte, Born This Way. But other than that, like eyeshadow palettes and stuff, I haven't bought anything from them in a really long time. Um, because I was buying from them and the quality was just like such a hit and miss that it just wasn't worth it for me anymore. But I do think that their holiday collections are usually pretty good. So I don't mind trying those out. There was another one at Sephora yesterday that was really freaking pretty. I might actually go back and get that because it was stunning. And I'm going to go in now with Reindeer Games right down here. It's very, very similar. Oh my god, every time I pick it up, I get the whiff of that pecan pie smell, and it smells so good. And this is going to be on the Morphe M507. And I'm just going to start blending that shade we just put down out. And these blend out beautifully. It is so hot in here. I thought it was going to be adorable to wear this adorable shirt that I got from the Lace Cactus. But I'm still at my old house. And I do not have air in my makeup room. And it is so hot. So hot in here. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with this peachy color right here right here and it's called rap star and i'm going to use the m506 for that and i'm just going to start making sure that that is very very blended to speed this part up because we are going to cut the crease and then we'll be back to finish up the rest of it okay and then i am going to go and put down some nyx glitter glue and this same p louise acid rain brush and then we are going to go in with this beautiful ballerina shade right here And then laying down the color. How stunning. And then we're just going to do that all the way across. The Fenty Fly Pencil or the Fly Liner. And I do find it a little bit difficult to work with. I'm not really sure why. It's kind of, it's more of a liquidy formula. And I really had a hard time. Like, they're definitely not even in the slightest bit. I'm going to try to clean that up when I do my face makeup. But, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the Fenty Fly Pencil. So, I'm going to say... Uh, for me, it's not the kit wasn't worth it. I could have just gotten the lipstick. Um, but I think maybe for someone who's better with like pen liners, I usually use a brush that the kit would be worth it. But for me, it is just not worth it for me. But I'm going to go throw on 
my base, my foundation and stuff because I don't have a foundation to show you guys and then we will be back to play with the rest of the products. Okay, for the sake of this video not being 300 years long because it is already going to be incredibly long, I went ahead and finished putting on my foundation and finished up the eyes. So I did the same thing on the bottom lash line that we did on the top, same colors and everything. And then on the inner corner, I put Frosty, which is like this beautiful white with like a gold shift. And it is so freaking pretty. And then I finished off with the Fenty Mascara Miss Merlot. And it is so freaking pretty. This color is so beautiful. So we are going to go ahead and... Put, give this face some dimension because it is struggling right now. So we're going to jump into the Hourglass set. And I'm first going to go in with this bronzer and this is the Morphe PK4. And I'm just going to tap into that and start adding some dimension back to the face. This bronzer color is literally beautiful. All right, look how much better that looks already. Yes. And then we are going to take this little brush. I don't know where this is from. I know it's Lisa Frank, it's from Glamour Dolls. So we're gonna take this Glamour Dolls brush and we're gonna go into the blush. Oh my god, it's seriously so freaking good. I cannot tell you how obsessed I am with the hourglass stuff. How beautiful so beautiful and then let me see if i have a clean yes this has some translucent powder on it so i'm just going to wipe it off and then i'm gonna go in to this powder right here and this is the ambient lighting powder and i just kind of swish the brush around in it and then just kind of dust it all over the face and it just helps everything like mesh together and it gives it such like a blurred like honestly filtered look without the filter and I use one of these powders almost every time I do my makeup because honestly it makes such a difference so when I'm doing like everyday makeup and when I'm not filming, I always use this. And I use the one, how oh, freaking pretty. I use the one in the Ghost Edit palette. And then I'm going to give my face a spray. Now this is new, but it is not part of like holiday or anything. But this is the new Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Setting Spray. And if you guys know me, you know I am obsessed with the freaking Hydro Grip um, Primer. So I'm super excited about this. In with this highlighter. This is such a pretty highlight. I'm telling you, they just do complexion products beautifully. If there's anything that I 1 million percent recommend out of all of the things I purchased, it is this. It is this because Hourglass just never lets me down. Look at that. And even the one I have in like last year's big collection. Huh. 
I'm so, my foundation is like breaking up. I don't know if you guys can see it really bad, like right here and on my nose and it never does. I don't know what. I don't think it agreed with my primer, which is annoying. Yeah, something did not play well together, which is fine. Oh my god, so stinking pretty. Okay, so this is like a absolutely get it. Absolutely. And last but not least, I believe, last but not least, we are going to go in with the Buxom set I didn't use the Tarte set but I like I've been using it for a few like a week or so now and I do highly recommend that so I'm gonna go in with this hush hush lip crayon first This color is so freaking pretty and then as much as I wanted to go in with this one right here I don't think it is gonna go with this look so I'm gonna go in with this one which is in the shade ginger is this one of the new ones yes yeah, so this is one of the new shades which is nice because if you have a few of these, at least you'll get to see one of the new ones. Oh, this color is beautiful. This is such a pretty color. I'm trying to see how bad exactly this is going to continue to tingle. It is a very, very faint tingle right now. And it does not feel like it is getting any worse. So, this is definitely nothing compared to the Too Faced Lip Injections. I feel like this is more bearable. It feels a lot like my Grande Lip cosmetics um lip plumpers and those are some of my favorite ones this color is honestly stunning okay so that is all of the holiday sets that i got this time so let's do a quick recap on what i think is worth it and what i think you could go ahead and pass on this year so the tarte blush and bronzer and what well, we're gonna call them blush and highlighters the trio i definitely think it is worth the price it is very very pretty the Too Faced um enchanted forest makeup collection the palette is beautiful it worked great but it is just like basic Too Faced. I'm not gonna lie. Like I think it's cute and it's fine and everything. But it is just basic Too Faced. So if you don't like love it for the packaging or love it because you collect them or anything like that. You could go ahead and pass on them because it's not anything that's like oh my gosh new from Too Faced. Um, the Hourglass kit. I get them every year so I highly highly recommend them. The price is, I, it, I know it is expensive, but if you have the extra money to grab it, the performance is incredible. Their face products are beautiful. Brio Geo set, I already know this is going to be amazing. This bare one is limited edition for the holidays. They brought it back, 
so if you want it grab it now because it will be going away after the holidays i'm so sad i think i'm gonna grab another one just to be sure i have one until next year i only wash my hair once a week so that should be plenty um the fresh holiday kit not worth the money i'm gonna like say that right now it is not worth the money it is a cute kit i'm sure it works great it's lip balm not worth the 30 dollars um what else the Fenty mascaras I don't know if those are holiday or not I don't believe they are I'm not 100% sure but they are very pretty so I do and I love the um formula of the lip or I love the formula of the full frontal mascara so highly recommend that and last but not least the buxom lip kit this is my favorite product i think like outside of the hourglass this is my favorite product that i got and i'm really shocked because first of all i'm not super this is tingling a little bit more not bad just mintier so um yeah i'm not i didn't used to be like a super lip gloss person and I don't know I fell in love I'm loving this it looks so pretty it is giving my lips like a plumper look it feels it actually feels really nice the like tingle it does it's not a hurt tingle it's just like a minty tingle and my lips feel really like nourished so I do highly recommend this and for $39 for all of this product very very good price Okay, so that is all I got for you guys today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button before you leave. And leave me a comment down below letting me know what holiday sets you guys are grabbing or if you want to see another one of these with some drugstore products. Just let me know and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.